Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a uh, quick video um, on a new AK I just got in yesterday. Uh, this was, uh, this is, day is uh, March 23rd, 2016, and uh, I do a lot of research when I'm buying a gun and want to um, watch videos on a lot of YouTube and all just to see what people's reactions are to it. Um, this is an IO um, 247C and uh, you've got a lot of mixed reviews on it, a lot of positives, a lot of negatives, and I know everybody has their own opinions on no matter what kind of gun it is, and they get pretty uh, hard-nosed about it. So, uh, But I did uh, research, and there was a magazine came out last month with um, on AKs, and it got this gun got really good reviews there. And Anyway, I got this off of um, Classic Firearms. They are a, uh, I bought several guns from them. They're a great company. Um, have had uh, no problems with them uh, on hand select on military classic guns or even brand new ones. This shipped in about uh, f came in about four days, five days. Um, so really quick turnaround and uh, real happy with that. Uh, really good communication. So um, Classic Firearms is a great place to get new and used and you know really good price. But this um, they had this at on a, a, an additional discount, five hundred and sixty nine dollars plus I think about eighteen dollars shipping to Georgia. Um, I have an FFL here that doesn't charge a, um, a fee, so uh, saving another $25 or so. So anyway, um, I figured it was worth a chance to try, and um, even though I had some ne heard some negative things, and but also heard a lot of good things about IO and how they have um, really changed their quality and their um, how they do things down in Florida now, and I'm uh, really pleasantly surprised. So anyway, I thought I would just make a video and uh, highlight some of the negatives I've heard and uh, maybe dispel some of those uh, off of a of current video of a current gun that they are cranking out right now. Um, so anyway, I just kind of want to go through it. Um, one of the um, things um, that I wanted to touch on here with what all it came with, uh, it does come with a nice case, although it's, you know, it's kind of light duty. It's nothing I would say, you know, you'd really throw around the truck too much, but, you know, it's protected it in the shipping. Um, so it's a nice bonus. I know it has a cost to it and it included that. It does have two mag... No, they're not Magpul, but two um, plastic um, magazines, um, which is, a lot of times they only will come with one. So, um, and it came with uh, a little bag, kind of unusual, some kind of little, a little, a little bag, like a grocery type bag, but uh, has their has their logo on it, a brochure on their current product line, and this is the owner's manual. I almost didn't find it; it was so small, tucked in with that bag. Uh, but it's an actual owner's manual, pretty small, but. Um, Again, the overall, the, the finish and um, the look of the gun was exactly what I was hoping for. I bought this um, mainly because I had bought a Magpul, um, how do you pronounce it? It's just a Zukov um, folding stock, uh, and I wanted to put it on my current AK, which is a Sentry Arms C39. Um, it's been a fantastic gun. Um, I also got from Classic Firearms, <laughs> but um, had that for a couple of years. But I wanted something with a folding stock, and I ordered this um, to another company and got it in, and then realized that it doesn't fit milled receivers. So I needed to get something that had a stamped receiver. So I was looking for something just kind of inexpensive but decent quality. And so after doing some research, this is the one I went with. And um, so I haven't put anything on yet. I figure I'd do the uh, video first, but I've got. Um, Got that stock to put on. I got a nice strap to put on. Um, got a uh, different muzzle brake. This is a real classic muzzle brake that came with it. Um, nothing wrong with that, but it's just you know very, I want something a little bit, a little bit different. So I've got some extras, so I'd, I'd throw it on. But um, one of the things that um, concerned me though when I was watching videos were um, like everybody talked about something. Not everybody. A lot of people talked about rivets and the quality of the rivet jobs and that and that. And um, and, you know, I had, so I, I was really concerned about opening it up and seeing what those look like. And um, um, you can you can see here, I'll zoom in here a little bit. The rivets themselves um, are in are, are I would say they're not perfect compared to some other guns I've looked at. Um, a little a little bit of space underneath them, but um, uh, the ones in the back um, looked a lot better, a lot more flush. So, but you know, the thing is, this comes with lifetime warranty. So, if I do have any failures on that, I will be contacting them and hopefully get the same uh, 
responses I've gotten some some, some other quality gun manufacturers and I've had some kind of issues Ruger is awesome and G Glock was great uh, just small issues but so anyway I'm not real concerned with it because I mean it's uh it's uh they look solid they'll not lose or anything um, but I probably wouldn't even notice if it, people hadn't have been making um, comments about it um, so anyway so move on from that I'm not a professional photographer here I'm doing this kind of my first video um, and um, so another another issue that I kept hearing about was the uh, trigger um, some one, one or two people said that the trigger was was gritty um, so I I have, like I said, I have that uh, Sentry C39, and it's got a great Tapco 2 trigger on it, which I really, um, really like. Never had any problem. And I have to say, on this one, it is as smooth or even lighter than the tap the Tapco trigger that I've got. Um, turn this thing around so I can see what I'm doing here. But uh, and I, this has been checked. Um, it's hard to do this. People make it look a lot easier when, when you're watching on TV. Um, but this has been has been safety checked. There's nothing in the, in the chamber. There's no magazine, so don't have to worry about um, getting hopefully any nasty nasty grams on that. But um, uh, like I said, the uh, the trigger itself though, it's very very light. Uh, I mean, it's, it has a little take up, no grittiness at all. I've heard people talk about about a two and a half pound trigger, and I would believe that for sure. Because it's just you just barely pull it back, and it's just you don't. There's not even any resistance; it just clicks. Very nice. Um, you know, have no complaints on the trigger at all. And again, I've not shot this yet. I just got this in. I'll take it out to review some land out, and not too far. I'll take it out to, um, probably this weekend for sure. But uh, but I'm you know, really really impressed with the trigger. Um, the uh, it's it's straight. Looking right down the the. Uh, size is straight the um there's comments on the um uh, scope mount being not straight it's straight as it can be no problems with that um another another issue that um concerned me and i was anxious to try the one i actually got was the um the slide uh, i've heard people say that you know it hangs up and and you know just not real smooth um you know again i've got a century 39 which is you know, really I think overall well respected for the, for the its class of AK, um, and this one is really just as smooth. Um, you know, even when you charge a handle, it, you, know, you always have to pull it back, it, it, but it, there's really no no catch. Um, if you take it back and kind of let it go loose, lightly, it, it, it can do that. But that's not the way it's designed to be done. It's designed to be pulled back and let go. So I always see people that pull them back, and it's almost like they're trying to get to lock, to, to you know, to lock up. And so, um, you know, my and my uh, sentry does the same thing. I can I can I can get to stop there if I try. But if you just pull back, it's no problem at all. And again, this has never been shot, so I think um, even shooting it's going to even you know, loosen up even more. So this is again right out of the box. So that's really not not a problem. Um, one thing that did concerned me um, and I was almost thinking I may have to go out and buy a they talking about a wolf um, extra strong spring because um, one guy had a video that was showing that whenever you take off the cover and you charge the handle when he pulled his back it would it would lock back and he replaced the spring to give it uh, it actually replaced the whole um, whole mechanism from another gun that he had and it, it worked well with that but he used the one that io sent and it would lock it would it would lock back every time so i was a little nervous about that but so i took the cover off and pulled the slide back and there's that's the way there's no there's no there's no uh binding he talked about some binding here with a certain angle and again not an issue at all um so um like I said, I, I feel really good about that. All, all my biggest fears overall have been um, dispelled, I'd say. Worst part about AK is putting this cover back on. Get, get used to this one. There. Okay, that's on. Um, what else? Um, I think what else I had on here that we wanted to kind of talk about. Um, the... Um, oh, stickers. Shit. The stickers. Everybody's on mission about the stickers. And... Uh, you know, maybe they probably used to use some kind of a uh, 
paper based sticker I guess now this has got stickers on the bottom side here it also has on the other side of the stock um, and I mean I, I've, I've not pulled this one off I mean I, I got the corner started but I've never pulled it off and I mean so I'm doing this for the first time on live and it comes off cleanly so I think they, you know, they've listened, I guess, and they went to more of a, a plastic or um, sticker instead of a paperback. So, so um, I tried the other one on the other side just a little bit and it did the same thing. So they came, it comes right off. So stickers aren't an issue. Um, uh, oh, but overall, the, um, uh, I said the, the wood finish is really, really nice. Um, I like, uh, although I'm, I'm planning on leaving the front four grips um, on. And then I'm going to replace the back with the uh, Tapco folding um, stock. And um, the um, one complaint I do have that I mean it's you know but again it's not a it's, it's just maybe my own preference I'd say or maybe you know the fact is you know it's not it's not the highest dollar gun. Um, I'm not real impressed with the grip here. Uh, it's plastic um, and it's I don't I have medium to large hands I guess but I feel like I can't even get that bottom finger really around it feels like you're holding a, a subcompact gun um, and so I do have an, an, a matching Magpul um, grip that I'm going to replace it with that's a lot more a little, just a little bit longer it's also very narrow so it's, it feels it's kind of like you're not there's not enough to really hold on to it's really slick it's not a lot of grip so anyway it's a super easy fix and screw in the bottom you know and these things these things are cheap. You can buy them anywhere. I mean, fifteen to twenty dollars at most, and uh, have a nice grip on it. So that'd be a one upgrade. Um, I will do for sure. Um, and uh, another thing was the um, you know, any any concern at all that anybody may have with the um, the magazine fitting, how tight it is fitting. Um, this gun, the magazines fit tighter in it than my Century, and I have no problem with the Century. This, but it, this just clicks right in, and I mean, it, there is no wobble. I mean, nothing. It's as tight as it can be. Um, I, I generally, it's almost, almost too tight in a way. It pops right out, but I mean, it's very, very tight. I, um, I usually, I like for whatever reason, I do like um, metal mags. This is a Korean-made metal um, magazine, and. It slides right in again no movement to it I mean, that's just me I mean, that's just a gun moving it there's there's you know 16th of an inch front to back nothing right to left so um, nothing to be concerned about there either so um, like I said I I never really done these videos before but it um, it uh, you know Century Firearms is a great company and I mean I don't work for them I'm just an individual guy so uh, but if you're looking for a gun it's a great place to go and um, so far, I'm really impressed with this. I'm going to take it out this weekend. This is Tuesday. I can't really have much chance, and it's supposed to be raining. So i take it out this weekend and do some shooting on it. Um, and I, you know, see how it performs in that aspect. Turn it over here. Um, but um, if, it, if it performs half as good as, you know, it looks, um, I'd be really happy with it. So... Uh, Anyway, I appreciate it, and uh, again, check out Classic Firearms, and uh, you all have a good night. Thank you.